Hey, it's Lacey and welcome back to Satoshi Gaming. Today I want to share my best great build in Townstar. This build is a daily town coin earner's dream on the play to earn servers and quite frankly, a overkill great brush build. <laughs> It started as a great brush practice build, but I decided to see how far I could take it and max out its earning potential as best I could, and here is the end result. This build produces 371 Pinot Noir grapes per hour, $9,905,700 per hour, and 74,200 stars per hour. It takes between 5 to 7 minutes to produce 5 grapes for your daily town coin earnings, allowing you to play for 7 minutes or less per day to earn. It includes 2 NFTs, neither of which are required for the success of the build. I'm using the water tank for my coin, which serves absolutely no purpose for this build other than that, and the Express Depot to speed up deliveries. This build came together rather quickly, and after that it was just a matter of upgrading everything to the top tiers so if you're purely looking for those daily earnings, you could skip the top tier items. It just may take a little longer each day to collect. Energy is fully automated here. I don't even have a warehouse because I don't need any battery production. My power plants are simply providing passive power for my gasoline, petroleum, and lumber production, which this build once set up also doesn't need lumber production, so if you wanted to further reduce hourly wages, you could remove both lumber mills as well as the builder, which I left out just because money isn't a thing here. Let's dive in and check out the details of my overkill grape brush build. Grapes only require two water, which makes them really easy to supply with the water you need. So I decided to go with this grid layout where there's one pond in the middle and then the grapes surround it so each pond is getting the two water necessary. It also requires one lumber to build your grapes originally so keep that in mind when starting this build. And then once they're built you just need to have your farmers place wood on top of them to grow and the necessary water. So it comes together rather quickly. My first row of grapes is affected in some spaces uh, based on the shade and wind block of the buildings nearby. So they take a little longer to grow, but it's only that first row. The second row in is totally green and everything beyond that is as well. I have my tree production right next door and I've put a pond strip right down the middle to make it easy with roads on either side so my loggers can just walk down the sides and grab the trees. They don't have to really walk and tramps through the the crops slowing them down. So they go pretty fast. I have my water tank here just for no reason other than I needed to put it on my board somewhere and it worked there just fine without causing any problems to production. And then I still have my wells out which I don't need so if you wanted to you could remove those. I've put all my lumber yards in one place together right across from the wood that's growing so that they don't have to walk very far to put it away. Um, they do walk occasionally up the road to go to the lumber mill, but again, you could skip that step entirely. I have my logger houses here. This build only required six logger houses. And then I have my farm tractors right next door and it requires eight. I put out five trade depots, including my express depot NFT, because this way every day I can just send out five grapes and that makes for my thousand stars. And so I don't have to wait for my truck to come and go and refill it. I can just send them all out, out at once and get my daily reward collected. You could also send them out the day before and then just not collect them and wait for the next day. And then when you log in, all you have to do is collect your stars and you don't even have to wait for the delivery truck to go. So that's another way to speed along your daily earnings. Moving to the middle of my build, I have five silos all in a row. If you want to see my video on the rule of the right, you'll see the reason why I put them all in a row. Um, but I have them all right here and so I can store a hundred grapes at a time, which I found that I needed a lot of storage for these grapes because unless I was sitting there just babysitting, uh, which I often play while I'm cooking dinner, so that's not really an option. Um, I ran out of storage space very fast. So if you want to rake in the money, you really need to keep an eye on these because they will fill up very quickly. Next to that, I have my oil pumps and I put as many as I could get out on here because I go through gas pretty quickly. After I got production going, it seemed to maintain itself really easily with this amount of pumps but I think you could probably get away with a couple less if you wanted to, but this seemed efficient and I'm not having any gas problems, so I decided to stick with what I had. I have my forklift guy right across the way so that he can easily collect all the oil and drop it off at the fuel storage, which is also right next door. With this setup, I found I only needed the one forklift to maintain productivity. My industrial area is for the most part pretty well automated. I have a pond in the middle with water pumps supplying uh, everything they need for water to my power plants. My refineries are in the middle between the power plants and they are fully automated as far as energy and water goes. So the only thing they need to pick up for petroleum is the crude oil and the fuel storage is just down the street. And the only thing my gasoline 
refinery needs to pick up is the one petroleum, which is right down the street. So I put my fuel storage in the middle of the refinery so that the distance to travel was as minimal as possible to pick up and drop off. So I mentioned earlier that you could get rid of your lumber mills if you wanted to. I'm keeping mine just to sell lumber because I max out my wood storage, as we just witnessed, uh, pretty frequently with this build. So I'm selling lumber occasionally. Um, I turn the lumber mills on and off as needed, but you could do away with them if you didn't want them. The lumber mills are also supplied completely with water and power in this setup, so they do not require anything except for the wood required to make the lumber, which your loggers will deliver directly to your lumber mills to so save time, or your uh, lumber mill worker will actually go travel to the lumber yard and grab wood as needed. But I found that most of the time, by the time he gets down there, the wood's already put in the lumber mill, so he's just walking back to, you know, get started building it, which is, you know, a bit of an annoyance, but it is what it is. So again, if you wanted to, you could get rid of both of these and you could also get rid of the warehouse or the builder house in the middle. The builder house I put here in the middle because it doesn't require a road. And I left mine out just because, like I said, money is not a thing with this build. So if I wanted to play around with anything else, I could just have a builder out still. Fuel storage is all right here, as I was stating previously. So it's a, it's a pretty convenient little industrial area and it works really efficiently. So that is my overkill grape brush build and I hope you give it a try and let me know how it goes for you down in the comments below. If you'd like access to exclusive content and special perks, you can join my Patreon for as little as $1. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. Also hit that bell to turn notifications on so you don't miss my latest videos. You can also find me on Twitter at SatoshiGamingTV. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again next time. Bye.